So uh, my name is Manesh. And I'm Sean. And we are Team AA. And so our project consisted of an alcohol gas sensor, basically a breathalyzer. Um, and the purpose of it is to notify the user if he or she is capable of operating a motor vehicle after a few drinks. So first off, just going to give an overview of it. So uh, we ordered the uh, MQ3 from sparkfun.com. Uh, it's like five bucks, it's pretty cheap. Uh, so the device is a breathalyzer, which like I said, can use to measure the BAC of an individual. Uh, some new hardware that we used was the PMOD 81, which converted the analog to digital. The LCD was used to uh, display the BAC level. Uh, LEDs were used to assist the user in loading into the sensor, and uh, button zero was used to initiate the sensor. So specifically, uh, upon startup, it'll just read breathalyzer, and then uh, as soon as the user pushes the button zero, it uh, will start counting down. And while it's counting down, it's calibrating. We'll talk about more about that later. But it's, it's counting down from five to zero, and then upon hitting zero, it hits start. And then uh, this is when the user blows into the sensor um, for the duration that the eight LEDs are lit. And then as soon as the LEDs are lit, it'll display on the LCD, the BAC level. All right, so here's um, our hardware design. It's very similar to like all the components we used in um, Microblaze uh, was very similar to the function generator. The only difference really was um, using the SBI to uh, communicate with the AD1 instead of uh, DAC, and we used the MISO for that. Um, we have the GPIOs communicating with the LEDs, the LCD, and the button zero. Um, we used uh, two or 380K um, resistors to kind of limit the voltage going into the AD1. And um, see, so then uh, the software upon power up, we uh, just initialized LCD, and then uh, this this is where it would display the breathalyzer. And then once you push the button, it'll start the sequence of you know uh, it's calibrating and calculating the uh, the milligrams per liter uh, of alcohol it's detecting, and then from there it'll calculate the BAC and then display it on the LCD. And here it'll just hold until you reset again or um, to calculate the new BAC. So like this whole software process is when the LEDs are being played. So that's what it's doing while the point of blowing into it. Okay, so um, the, uh, the alcohol sensor requires a five volt supply. Um, to have it running, and it also requires a uh, burn-in time, which is while it's getting the 5 volt supply, it'll heat up and then cool down until it reaches a stable point, and at that point it's uh, most accurate. So we found the burn-in time to be about six hours, uh, like over a period of six hours it took to uh, become very stable so we get very accurate readings. And then um, we used the 180 uh, kilo ohm resistors to, um, to prevent the voltage from exceeding the 3.3 volts that the uh, A to D could uh, handle. And um, the A to D converts the voltage being sent into the uh, Nexus board uh, to a hexadecimal value where you could use that to calculate the BAC level. Um, so our functions really, uh, basically for the software, uh, one of the most important things to get running was reading from the the DAC, uh, so we made a function DAC read, and uh, probably the trickiest part about this was we had to send a uh, message to the DAC to get a uh, clock cycle going so that we could, were able to read from it. Uh, thanks to Greg for helping us with that one. So basically we wrote nothing to it so that we could actually read from it. Right. And um, then we just uh, had a simple convert uh, the hexadecimal to BAC, and we did this uh, you know, calibrating uh, with an actual breathalyzer. So we would blow into it, and um, depending on what BAC that breathalyzer would give us, we would read the voltage off that and just kind of calibrate it from there.
right. integration and testing probably the funnest part about this project. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, at the, at the beginning, we just wanted to get the ADC working properly. So in order to test for that, we just sent a voltage, a bearing voltage, uh, to the Nexus board and reading it out on the LCD. Uh, once that was working, uh, it was just dealing with the sensor and tweaking that. Yeah. Um, so we have the, the sensor connected to the breadboard, and um, you know it goes to the very uh, the resistors, and then uh, into the A to D. Um, yeah. So it, again, with the the preheat issues that we had earlier, uh, before it got to the the six hour mark of preheating, it uh, would jump sporadically to higher voltages or lower, so we were it would properly calibrate it. Um, and the, the results are like all over the place. So we had to make sure it was consistent. <coughs> Um, let's see, then uh, once we connected uh, everything together, um, we started using alcohol on our breath. Uh, we used uh, mouthwash as well as um, you know, doing shots of uh, Captain Morgan. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we found that uh, just using one, um, what was it, like just uh, 50 milliliters of mouthwash and rinsing that in your mouth and then spitting it out, you can, all, you can get the uh, sensor up to you know, 0.08. For actual DUI, so I mean, so it wears I mean, off quickly. But yeah, you can still you can blow up one away. So due to the the sensitivity of the, the gas meter, we decided to limit it at 0.08 at the DUI level and not go above that uh, for measuring your VAC. And um, yeah. anything else? Questions? Any questions? Did you know about the burning rate? Yeah, it was on the data sheet. But on the data sheet, it said greater than 24 hours, and we were not. So we did it for six. As long as it stopped getting hot and cold. What did you guys use to test it? Uh, mouthwash and uh, Captain Morgan. Did y'all start? Okay, so y'all used like actual liquor alcohol? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah like we uh, would take a shot of you know Captain Morgan, swish it around for a good like thirty seconds. Uh, <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then we have a demo set up over here that uh, we'll show you guys how it reads. <laughs> so we brought mouthwash to uh, test it out. Uh, Manesh will do the honors. <laughs> okay, so you want to? Yeah. So there's just a load up. It reads breathalyzer, and it'll just hold it in this state until uh, we're ready to go. Um, and once we push button zero, uh, that, that's while it's counting down from the five uh, down to start, it's actually calibrating, it's measuring the gas around it so that it has some sort of basis before the alcohol is added in. And then it uh, subtracts those values to get the value of just the alcohol. So, DUI. Uh, <laughs> so I got it up we to wait it. like a minute, um, I could probably get it down to like 0 0.04, 0 0.06. It wears up really quick. But DUI, so I'm probably blowing a point away right now. Yeah. Um, so, so, I should have. So, we should drink mouthwash. Any more questions? Yeah. 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 Mouthwash is only about like 5% alcohol. So, I mean, if you're taking like 40% alcohol and swishing that around for a while, it's we we'll get up to, I think we got up to like 0.12 or something like that. That would hurt. Yeah. So I'm 0.09. So, I mean, this is a pretty sensor. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely can't operate a motor vehicle at this moment. Really? Yeah. And also, there's a there's a cooldown period for it too, because um, if I were to, if if you keep running it, it's gonna keep showing it uh, for like I think a minute or two, and then it'll get back down to zero, and then you can use it. Uh, that's there from, is a cooldown period. From the alcohol just staying in the, the screen of the sensor. Yeah. So that's actually the right there. What's that? This is actually the Oh, that's the sensor. sensor. Yeah, that's the sensor right there. So yeah. that, that's the five volts going in, and then this that's, is the... That's a commercial product. This is a, yeah, this is a real, I guess a real one, yeah. But, uh,